we're not just running the technical workshops behind closed doors, but we also want to involve the public. And this event today is to involve the public and to have these debates out in the open. The big questions that are brought up with the advent of artificial intelligence, with the advent of nanotechnology, they should not just be answered by the engineers that build it. We really don't want just some scientists sitting in a basement in Palo Alto deciding on the future of humanity. So I think the entire world should be thinking about what would be the ideal future for everybody? The great debates provide an opportunity for very different people to come together at the same time and answer questions and bounce off one another. And so that's been really wonderful to watch this today and to be a part of this today. Our future technologies are actually impacting every area of our lives, in health, in government, in finance, you name it. And that's why we're bringing people together to have these debates. We want to have the discourse, we want to have the disagreements on stage to see that the ink isn't dry. Most of the events that I'm attending here in the Bay Area, you have one keynote speaker who's really versed in the subject and who's giving you an excellent talk on like what the future has in store for us. Well, what if we bring several of these into one room and they all have different opinions on the matter? rather than just having one person telling you what the future is and you following them. The ultimate goal for holding the great debates today was to get the public involved, get the public engagement in these very, very important conversations. Well, I love the world to think about what would happen if we enable the body to have sustained health. What are the social, economic, political, what's gonna happen in the investment landscape? What's gonna to happen to our ideas of war, our ideas about land? Mental and emotional well-being is one of the inputs for the output of a better world. How do I know myself better? And how do I know and connect to you better? Mental and emotional well-being is one of the inputs, and if we don't have that, we don't get to the better world. Many of us are very excited about space, not just Mars, but the entire solar system and maybe further out. Okay, great, we want to get these meat bodies through space, through the darkness and the void of space. Um, how are we going to do that? We're on the verge of a major transformation due to artificial intelligence. The technologies are moving ahead really, really fast. They're going to impact every aspect of society, but society is not ready. What will become of human intelligence? We talk a lot about artificial intelligence, and in many ways it sucked all the air out of the room. Intelligence is the most consequential and powerful resource in existence. It's what allows us as humans to reign supreme on planet Earth. Part of our mission is to build the bridge between the engineers that are building the breakthrough technology and the wider public that is going to interact with this technology.